guys, today we're going to switch up Sunday's project. We're just going to tweak it a little bit, change it just enough so that it's different and can be displayed another way. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know in the comments below what you think. I always try and include links in the description box below of what I used, and if I can't find exactly what I used, I try and find something very similar. Okay, here we go! Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and some organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. Hey guys, so we're going to change this up today. Since we didn't glue the Spanish moss or the nest on, it's real easy to just remove. And honestly, it looks super adorable just like this, and you could use it just like this if you want. But, with it being Easter, we have to give it a little bit more pizzazz, right? Well, that's fabulous. I forgot my dishwasher was running, so now you can hear that. I am going to take and fill this top part with some floral moss. This is at the Dollar Tree, and they do have like um, a reindeer moss also. That one looks more mossy to me. It looks more army greenish. So for Easter and for the spring, I'm going to use this floral moss, which has more of that green color. But it looks more, um, I don't know the right word. I like it better for this project. <laughs> also, I'm going to take one of these ceramic bunnies. I'm not going to paint it. You could definitely paint it if you wanted to, but I'm just going to use it with the white color that it already is. So, this is super easy, super simple, and it's not going to take much time at all. But the floral moss is a little messy, so you might want something underneath you. I need to sweep my floor anyway, so I'm not going to do anything underneath it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the floral moss, and I'm going to put it kind of in a circle around the edge. I'm not going to be real specific with it. I'm okay if some of that silver shows because the silver is down on the um, this part as well. And one thing I didn't even think of when I was picking out the moss that I wanted is this color goes a lot better with the leaf color from the roses. So it kind of works out better that I didn't use the reindeer moss anyways. I do like the reindeer moss and it is a little easier to work with. It's more flexible. But for this project, this is it. So I placed it in there. And, you know, later on I might choose to glue some here just so it stays there a little bit better and looks more grass-like, but for now I'm not going to. I have to see if I want to switch it up again first. Alright, so we got our little bed of grass. And I'm going to get this extra out. There we go. Alright, we got our little bed of grass. Now I'm going to take our little bunny. And there's a little hook that goes right here on the head. But I just removed that with a pair of scissors. I just wiggled it back and forth and slid it out. So I did make a little, right here, a little dash on accident with my scissors. But otherwise it slid out very nicely. You can see the holes didn't really crack or anything. So just be careful with it and it'll slide out nice. And I'm going to place that right on top. So it looks like the bunny's in his home. And voila! I think it's super cute. I really like it with the tea light as well. It gives it a little extra pizzazz, especially if you just see the glow. This is definitely something that you could glue together and keep for another year, or I like to change it up a little bit so I didn't glue my pieces together, but definitely an option. All right, guys, I think that's it for this time. I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a try, and let me know what you think in the comments below. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.